Enjoying Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze? Get episodes 30 days early at patreon.com slash superbeardbros. Now, watch some footage of Ted eating one of his favorite snacks, dried jujubes. Punch bowl. The icy jelly boys are here. Icy jelly boys. That pretty much covers it. Yeah. The icy jelly I'm boys. Ice. We're the stuff that goes in your milk tea. Ooh. We're the beer bros. We'll talk. Appreciate you guys being here. Yeah. yeah. Tune in for some hot damn Donkey Kong action. Hot damn Donkey Kong boss fight. Here we go. He. He, oh, what's oh, up, dude? dude? Dude, they got the fucking Coke Bear in here? He, can they do that? No. <laughs> that mouth. No. Oh. Oh, oh. How do I, like... Oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah, we're Guys, in the wrong. We, we're we, in the wrong. We're in the wrong. Oh, we, the piranhas yeah. ate it? Yeah, this is our Yo, fault. This is oh. our fault. <laughs> 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 yeah, Donkey was like, mm, sorry? He's like, I'll fuck you then. Yo, but then he's fucking dude. Are you? Fuck he's here to kill you. Look at that. He's got the stance of a Mortal Kombat character. He's not. He's hitting you with the hard side. I like that. You, I know why you hit his mallet. You know, trying to see if that's what you're supposed to do. But the fact that it didn't do anything made it look like you were just like clown on him. Yeah. <laughs> look at this Shao Kahn ass bear. Dude. You know what he looks like? Wh bear Khan. Uh, what's that movie? There it is. Uh, what's, it's like the books. Uh, the Golden Compass. <laughs> Yes! That's what he looks like. Yes. You got him! I like this guy a lot. He's He feels like really close to being like a Ninja Turtles guy. Oh, absolutely. Like, he, if, uh, if it was see. a Ninja Turtles, he'd have like a like, Oh, I'm, a f I'm from like the Nordic region and I'm a polar bear. Sure, sure. Yeah. I'm trying to just figure out what his name would be on the package. Chill billions. Chill chilly. Chill chill bill. Chilly Billy. Berry cold. Oof. Berry chilly. Uh, I guess you sound like like an insult. Like yeah, wing nut. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It should be like it should be like ice line. Some mm. shit like that. Q Q bear. Dude, he's swearing at us. He's also turning purple. No! His oh! name's like, you know what it is? You know what it is? Ready? Uh, Snowdiac. Oh, that's a good one. It's not bad. Like, what, I wanna, we, you know, what did we come up with the other day that was like the name that like it should have been? Remember? It was Charizard. Yeah, but what was the name? You called him. It was brilliant. Uh, you, you know, because there's Charmander, Charmeleon. But Charizard is terrible for multiple reasons. So you said... Uh, Charmodo. Charmodo. Is, is oh, Charmodo is so good. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. That's okay. That's okay. Second wave. Yep. Oh. Yeah, you gotta go on the ice. You gotta go on the two. It's so funny that he's getting dyed like slowly purple. Yeah. yeah. That's very, very cute. It's cute because in real life, polar bears, like, turn, like, kind of like a crusty yellow color. Mm. He's, he's got a little bit of that. Dude. Dude, that was brutal. They they did not, they were not kind to you there. There you go. Nice. Now we'll get stunned, maybe? No? I guess you gotta this dodge This is just like the don't die part, yeah. Beautiful. How many times does he have to whack himself? There it is. There oh, it is. Oh, and you get a little fucking... Hurt. End of the second phase. Final phase. <laughs> I love those little red cheeks happen. Oh. I love his little kick. That little tender kick. That LP. The standing light kick. Whoa! Okay. 
Oh. Oh. Fuck. That's a new one. And then there's gonna be one that's like fine. <gasps> the delay, bro. The slow Yo, Sonic move. He got, wow. he got me. This man's got multiples. This dude's the sending fucking out multiple vortex. speed fucking adokens. That's got like. That's godlike. I like it. I like it. I it's like, like it. Astaroth boss fight. The mix. I like his mix. I do. I do. Snowdiac? Yeah, it works, but there's nothing menacing about the Kodiak or snow. Kodiaks are men menacing, aren't they? It's not even, a, you know, it's, it's tough. I feel like we can do better, is all I'm saying. Euclondike. Brondike. Brondike's okay. Like, once again, I feel like the best Ninja Clon Turtle Duke. villain names are already like s something that exists, right? Like a dirt bag. Yeah, I think I'm doing I think I'm landing more on the like transformer side of things. I need to I need mm. to I need to nail the like 90s like fart butt element. <laughs> uh Like like something like 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 cold tooth or some shit like that. I think you should just start with an insult, you know? Like moron or dumb bear, Neanderthal, you know, barbarian, brute, barbar, barbar, it's barbarian, barbarian, yeah, genius. There's nothing icy in there, but okay, yeah. barbarian. Oh, and yeah. there it is. <laughs> oh, got a winner. We Done. got a winner. That was got to a polar bear. There it is, yeah. barbarian. There it is. We learned. Uh, Ancient Nordic hammer craft from uh, an engineer who built stuff with a hammer. Mm. Kept a polar bear as a, a zoo maker, building the cages with a big hammer. Wait, what did you did just that, do? Did that hurt him? He glue, but I don't know if that did damage. Did you just do like an ult? Yeah. Oh, nice. Bye. He, oh shit! He dropped his fucking bananas. The thing that's crazy about this is that this is just an argument that got out of control. This is totally a misunderstanding. It's exactly yeah. that would happen in a comic book. This guy's gonna team up in the next issue for sure. That is always so funny. The obligatory superhero misunderstanding. It's funny because it's always like Nightwing and Jason Todd. Oh, and he's like, wait! Sucks. Oh and they, like, heart is fight crushed. almost to the death. Ooh, yeah. He's got like a gun to is Dick Grayson's head. Yeah, and, it's yeah. pretty tired. That was a bum. Is it time yet for the Hadoken? No, one more. Okay, easy peasy. I wish I could make ice fissures. Oh, that's okay. You'll probably get a heart if you dodge this. Wrong word. Man, I was thinking about speaking of dodge this. Oh, motherfucker! I was thinking about what you were saying, or what Lisa was saying about that she like forgets the Matrix and then she yeah. gets to watch it with fresh eyes. Sure, sure, sure. What? She was just saying like she always she doesn't watch the Matrix like regularly enough to like remember it, in internalize the plot. Yeah, I think she's only seen it like three times. Yeah. So it's like, damn, like the price you pay for having that is that you've only seen the movie three times. Mm. But like, I always think, what is the movie? That I would want to be able to never remember when I watch it. Yeah, I think the Matrix is a good the Matrix is so candidate. good because of the how deep deep the concept is. I was gonna say for the reveal, but you know, yeah, I feel you. The uh, reveal of what the Matrix is. Yeah, yeah, like the the, the mini reveals throughout the film. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Matrix, pretty good. I don't know that it needs to be a movie with a twist for me though. I don't know. Like, how fun would it be to watch The Fifth Element with fresh eyes as, like, a 35-year-old man? Yeah, I think that would be cool. That being said, I wouldn't choose it. Because like, I think a part of the reason why I love The Fifth Element so much nowadays is the familiarity I have with it. A hundred percent. The Fifth Element to me is like a pajama pants, man. A hundred percent. But if I told you that there's a movie you've never seen starring golden era Bruce Willis. Right, right. And Chris Tucker and the villain right. Gary Oldman. Here's the thing. I'd like to believe, I want to believe 
that I would love that movie just as much today if I saw it today. I don't know if I would. That's true. Because The Fifth Element is one of those films for me. Multi pass. What'd you say? He said multi pass. I thought you said Morty pass at first. Morty pass. Morty pass. That's one of those films where uh, it has very few of the elements I usually like in my storytelling. For sure. But it makes up for it so much in like one or two other elements. Yeah. Like a couple of Tarantino films, as a matter of fact. Like, it, it absolutely. I don't want to use the phrase. It doesn't drop the ball, but it's just bereft of a lot of the stuff that I usually appreciate about stories. Like the stuff that's like your stuff. Yeah, the stuff yeah. I really look for. It has none of it. Nice Whoa. job. Uh, but it has so much, you know, in column C and D, I'm like, makes up for it. There's like very few movies that you could even like make as a double feature with The Fifth Element. It's so unique. Fuck. So I don't know if I'd want to see The Fifth Element with fresh eyes. That being said, like Fight Club or The Prestige, I would... Yeah, I think that'd be sick. So for your oh, for you so for awesome your money, it's about the, the 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 amazing reveals that have happened. I think I don't know if I've ever talked about this. Anyone can do a reveal by withholding information. It takes a very good storyteller, in my opinion, to do a genuinely effective plant and payoff. And in my opinion, effective plant and payoff is the hallmark of a well constructed story. Hard to do, but one of the one of those things that I actually care about a lot, right? Right. So yeah, I wouldn't call it just a reveal, right? It's about real good plant and payoff. But I mean things you can't uh unknow. Like like something like something like the fifth element, there's no like spoiler that's gonna make me enjoy that movie less. Mm. But you know, six six cents going into that, knowing the ending I would be bummed, right? I see your point, yeah. yeah. I see your point. I don't know. I don't know what the movie is I would choose. Maybe like fucking Indiana Jones. I don't know. Mm. What movie do I love to watch the most? I guess that's question of the day, right? Yeah. If you could wipe all of your knowledge of a film or whatever. Yeah, let's keep it to film. Yeah. Why not? Film is film is a good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I wonder if there's a tell. The, the, he does a little he does a little wait when he when he see yeah, that's the slow one. Yeah. And then he does a fast one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man. I see. What about so you guys? So three regulars are slow and a fast. Ooh. Three regulars are slow and a fast. I like that. What about you guys? Um, feel free to also answer the question once the boss is dead, Drew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All but right. Ted, you can speak up. Oh, did we actually say the question today? What movie would you wipe your knowledge of so you could watch fresh again? Yeah. Like over and over? Like you forget it every time you watch no, it? No, just one time. Well, let's say today. Oh, one time. For today, let's just say one. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Probably Scott Pilgrim. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. I really loved that movie. I still love it a lot. So why would you wipe it then? Just so I can enjoy it again. Because I... So I was the person... Oh, fuck. Mm. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. You said Fight Club and I was like, oh, that's a solid one. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a really good one. I knew nothing about Scott Pilgrim, the comics, mm -hmm. or the game, or anything when I saw the movie. Mm -hmm. Michael Barity refused... Like, Michael Barity got a plus one to secret screening. Um, and he took me... And he was like, I'm not going to tell you what this is about. You should thank Verity for that. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, you should just go. Yep. And I said, okay, sure. And I, I win that movie and it was like, it was a mind fuck for me. I sat there like, how is this possible? The craziest thing about the movie is that it's Edgar Wright. Hey! Right. Oh! I remember, I remember the feeling I felt. <laughs> Damn. When it was like, Edgar Wright is off of Ant-Man. Yeah, because I remember when they would put it, they put Edgar Wright on Ant-Man. I'm like, oh, so y'all are about to see the best, the movie. best, the best movie you've ever made. Yeah, the best, Mar like the best Marvel Studios film. That's probably a, you're ever gonna get. Probably, yeah. yeah, probably, yeah. And then he was like, no, I think I'm done. And I'm like, why? And he was like, oh, I want to make my own movie. And I'm like, fair enough, Edgar. Fair yeah. Enough. And then he made fucking Baby Driver. And I'm like, Edgar, you probably <laughs> made the right choice, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you probably made the right choice. One of the most shocking movies that I've ever seen. Shocking, really? I was like, this motherfucker went and did all... He did, like, an entire movie that's a Edgar Wright, like, sh editing montage. Yeah. That, oh, I see. That shit is, like, his movie, the most Edgar Wright movie I've ever seen. That's, like, a, a monumental, like, achievement of, like, organization and execution. The man knows how to direct. Yeah. Before we're even talking about, like, that the movie's good, like, just the craft required to execute some of the things that are in that movie. I want to see that dude... I want to see that dude make a, a, a film with a lot of action in it just because... 
And I mean, he did. It's called Baby Driver. Yeah. But uh, I meant more like a hand to hand kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, whooping kung fu and shit. Like, because I saw, obviously, you get some of that. Like, I think he cut his teeth a bit on Scott Pilgrim. For sure. But then yeah. in World's End, this dude's got some fight scenes that are pretty good. Not even just pretty good, but like, oh, you've <gasps> studied with. Okay. They feel like Chinese. Yeah. They are. Yeah. They are. Like Jackie Chan full on shit. And it's yeah. pretty incredible. I would love to see him do something with a lot of that in it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I would love that. What's that movie that's being made? It's like somebody's making like, maybe it's Winding Refn. It's making like a movie about like an assassin with no voice. Huh. I would love, I would love uh, Edgar Wright to just make something unabashedly pulpy like that. I don't know if he has that bone in his body though. I gotta imagine he does. Wow. What? What's that? Yeah, what you got there? What you got there, huh? Do you happen to know a lot about Edgar Wright? I don't, I don't know, maybe. I wonder, like, if he could have any comic book movie if he would have picked Ant-Man. I doubt it. I don't know what he would pick if he had, like, his druthers. That's what I mean. Like, what do you think his favorite is? That's the, that's the of, thing. like, what, like, American, like, big two comics? Yeah, or, like, yeah, like, what, 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 like, franchise do you think he could make? Any his, franchise? Yeah, because he hasn't really made one. He adapted Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim, Pilgrim yeah. But it's not, like... A media empire. That's true. Yeah. I don't know if he's interested in that, but like, I mean, if you, th I think if you look back at his body work, like, the man likes him some video games, you know? Yep. But I'm not sure if he likes them for like the narrative per se. Um, but yeah, yeah, like he's done some like Tekken references and Resident Evil. He did all, like, you know, Shaun, Shaun of the Dead was born of Resident Evil. Uh, That's real. So yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think that'd on. be an interesting question. Like, if you could make a film in any big IP, what would you make? I, I, yeah, I'd be interested. I'd put him on Mission Impossible. Huh. I'd be down with it. I feel like there's like a lot of good reasons to put him on it. Namely, it's a reunion with Edgar Wright, or with Simon Pegg. With himself, Edgar Wright. Let me get Edgar Wright on a Green Lantern flip. Oh my god, yeah. I, I just want Green Lantern, like, I want I want everybody to understand Green Lantern the way everybody understands, like, Iron Man now. You know, Iron Man came out with, like, a good-ass movie that, like, explains to you who Tony Stark is, like, for real, for real. And it's, like, pretty damn good. I want people to care about Green Lantern like that. I feel like it's crazy that, like, Green Lantern and Flash don't have that love. I feel you. They're such big heroes, like... If you look at Marvel, like, who they're trying to get famous now, like, my fucking, like, Moon Knight and shit. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Fucking Adam Warlock's gonna be huge. In a movie outside of England. It's a weird <laughs> world we're living in. Yeah, but then DC, they're like, Flash and Green Lantern? Never heard of them. People know Flash because he had a show for, what, eight years or something like that? Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. They, they, there is there is some Flash, but, like, Brett, the parents Brett, don't like the Flash yet. Brett, did I tell you my embarrassing Edgar Wright story? I don't know. Maybe when Baby Driver came out. Uh, maybe watch tell us. Um, so Kelly and I, we got to go to the Nintendo uh, Nintendo World Store. Oh yeah. To uh, debut the Mario, the Monopoly. Mario Monopoly game uh, with Jay Witz and his wife. Um, which what a great hmm. thing to do. It was really cool. What is this? Okay, just death. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just death. So Kelly and I went to this. We had a great week together we got to see satchel and shane like it was just a great time um and uh on the way back i was like we, kelly and i our, our our flight got delayed and so kelly and kelly had like at the time hadn't really seen any like edgar wright movies in the in the in the way that you know we have and so that's a shame um I was like, she, you know, we were talking about movies and how I was like, oh, dude, I gotta see. How do you get up there? I gotta see Baby Driver. Um, and she's like, what's Baby Driver? And I was like, oh, it's Edgar Wright's new movie. And I started talking about Scott Pilgrim. We started. She had never seen out. any of those at that point? I think she had. She just didn't know the name of Edgar Wright. Like, she didn't uh, know who he was. I don't know if she'd seen, like, all the Cornetto movies. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. she, she saw Scott Pilgrim. She's so. seen him now. Yeah, of course. Um, and and I think and maybe she did see them before. She just like didn't know, like yeah, she's not like a huge film buff. Yeah. Um, okay, I gotta figure out how to get this guy to jump this way. You got a bounce on his ass. Yeah, he's gotta he's gotta come this way though. He's that's not. A, that's a big boy. So we're sitting there, 
And uh, I pull out my phone and I'm on Facebook scrolling and Facebook is like, hey, um, do you want to be friends with Edgar Wright on Facebook? And I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's super weird. Like, I can just add Edgar Wright on Facebook. Okay, I'm not going to do it, but sure, whatever. So, so wait, did you or did you not? I did not add him. Uh -huh. I did not add him. I was just like, why is Facebook recommending that? And it was like his personal Facebook. Like, oh shit, I'm oh, dead. Fuck. Oh fuck. Sorry. Um. <laughs> so Dell just. Came I apologize. In. <laughs> Dell came in. Sorry. Sorry. So uh, we're sitting there, and uh, I negotiated for Kelly and I to have first class flights from the company that paid for us. So Kelly and I have first class flights, and we are we are sitting there waiting for our our thing to to go on. And as we're boarding the plane, Edgar Wright is in front of me. He is in front of me, and I melt down. I'm losing it. I love Edgar Wright, my favorite director. I'm fucking dying. And Kelly's like, what's wrong, Gerard? I'm like, he's there. That's Edgar Wright right it's there. It's him. It's him. It's the pan. He's there. Um, and so ah, uh, she was like, you should go say hi, introduce yourself. And I was like... You really? You think I should? And she's like, yeah, I'm sure he'd be fine with it. And so, like, I walked up to him and I was like, hey, Mr. Wright, I'm a big fan. Like, I, like, hey, became Mr. a fan. I became a fan. Or, like, I, I, I melted in front of him, basically, and it did not go well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that death? You mean, like, you did the thing that everybody thinks they do to us where they, yes. like, for five years, they I absolutely they're, like did. And he just was like, he was not stoked with my energy. It was nervous energy. It was not good. I was very embarrassed. Yeah. It was not a good time. And yeah. I tried to explain, hey, like, your movies inspired me. I'm a content creator online. Like, I, and like, I realized that that was just me saying I was a filmmaker. Like, it didn't really matter, you know? Like, it's like saying I'm a voice actor at the time. It, like, it didn't resonate with him. Yeah. He was very weirded out by me. He was like, oh, all right, that's cool. Well, thanks for watching my movies, mate. And I was like, cool. Um, Love you, bye. And he was like, <laughs> he's like, Love he you. did this thing of like, well, I gotta go to first class. Bye. And I was like, I'm also in first class. I didn't bitch. say that, but I was like, yeah, I'll see you later. It was nice meeting you. And he definitely like ran away from me. Sure, it was sure. very evident that he wanted to get away from me. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but fate refused to uh, let him get away from me because uh, I was sitting next to him on the flight. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep. And I didn't say a fucking word to him. I sat there in silence. <laughs> Just started watching one of his movies next I, to him and shit. I played my uh, I played games on, like, on my I think the switch was out at that time Scott Pilgrim the game looking at him no. uh -huh. I, a lot of people probably would do that too yeah uh -huh. Waka when, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. recognize it uh -huh. I remember one time Gerard gave like a switch demo of Breath of the Wild to the dude from Game of Thrones who gets the gold poured on his head oh my god that's right we were on the plane and I like turned around and was like, are you playing Breath of the Wild? Yeah, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, can you help me with this puzzle? <laughs> yeah. and I was like, sure. Oh, sure and yeah. So I like helped him solve a shrine. <laughs> Where were we going? It must have been like a, a Comic-Con or something. I, I remember Kelly was there, but I don't remember anything else about it. I'm hard pressed to think of many celebrities that I'd want to say something to. Yeah, There's many I, celebrities that I really appreciate. But very few are I feel like Fuck it, I'm shooting to fuck this. I don't really I have something time. I'm trying to accomplish. Yeah. By talking. The only time that I ever really feel like I should talk to celebrities where I like feel like I ought to say something is like, oh that's how. Maybe you jump off of that. I don't know. Yeah. But uh is when Ooh. you're you're on oh. you're on a personal basis with them already. Well that's different. Well it is it is different. Exactly. Like when I'm at a music festival and I see like a band that I like walk by, I might be like, I love your band. Yeah. You know, but I'm never like different. Very different. Yeah, but exactly. I'm never like, I just wanted to say that your music has been formative to my experience. I'm yeah. chatting with you long time, long time chatting. Like mm -hmm. when we were at like uh uh Rhode Island Comic Con and we had a chance to talk with like uh talk to met so many fun folks. You know, People like the cast of the next generation, stuff like that, mm -hmm. where we're backstage also and it's very chill. Yeah. Or we're at a convention with like video game legends and it's like there's a context in which they might naturally talk to you. Yeah. That's okay. 
to to say. Well, to, sure. I think it's okay to acknowledge like your fandom of them in a way when you're talking. Yeah, to very them. different yeah. when you're like on the job versus if they're out having lunch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, very different. Exactly. Yeah, that to me is the the main difference. What well, if if a fan came up to you and said one sentence and then walked away, like, what would you be like? Yeah, that, that mean, was a that was a sick thing to say to me or typically, something. Typically, sick thing. Typically, like a, like a cool. I don't know. Typically, someone who's respectful of my time, my space, and what I'm doing, who just has something nice to say, I have no problem with it. Aaron and I, Aaron, Aaron Hanson and I, always talk about how, um, whenever we like do collaborate together, like we do a video or we're like doing a brand deal or something together, we always run into a fan that does the same thing. They look at me and they go, oh shit, you're the, and they look to Aaron and they go, oh my God, Game Grumps. Like it's like that exact beat. And the fan, for whatever reason, is like, wow, I'm such a big fan. You guys are so cool. You're so important to me. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys really helped me get through the day. We're always like, oh, thank you, dude. Thank you very much. And the, and we go, what do you do for a living? And the guy's like, oh, uh, I designed the UI for this game that uh you may have heard of it called celeste yeah and we're like it's not true but like it's an example yeah and it's like what the fuck what the fuck you did that yeah anyways i have to go it was nice meeting you <laughs> bye and we're like no wait come back tell us about how you did that that's amazing yeah mm -hmm. that happens all the time and we're always bummed out mm -hmm. about it because that's the fan that we're like let's go get a beer let's talk about what you did how that's so cool and tell me more about your weird life like i want to know those are the folks that i'm like Come into my circle. Let's talk. I fame want to is, know more about fame you. Fame is so fucking crazy. <laughs> fame, like being being famous in in someone's eyes is like it's, it's bad. It's you don't want to be it. It's it's yeah. it's, it's weird. There's there's definitely I, I think about when we first started how many like fans that became friends and then friends that no longer talk to us because like they got over our shit pretty quickly. It's just weird. It's just weird like realizing that somebody sees you in that way. Yeah, I, I think it's just a really off-putting feeling. Mm, but that's it for now. Let's go back to Seashore War next time. On seashore, Super Bros. seashore War by the Seashore Side to Seashore Shores. She Shores Seashores by the Seashore War. Bye. Bye. Bye.